Hi, I'm Amber. Four years ago, I was in a dark place in my life. I needed to turn my life around. I got out of rehab and moved into a housing first apartment. I thought, how lucky I am to have a safe place to call home for me and my daughters. I've worked so hard on my recovery. Things are definitely looking up. That night, the SWAT team raided the apartment next door because they were dealing drugs and weapons. It took 90 days of insanity to get these clowns out. And every day I worried for my daughters and my safety. I thought I could stay sober, but I relapsed because of the negative influences and alcohol and drugs around me. I went to jail and lost my children and my home. I finally got to Solutions for Change, a program that helps people stay sober, get work, and get their own place. I regained custody of my daughters. I'm no longer on probation or parole. I work a full-time job to support my children, and I'm no longer dependent on the government. Now, the Department of Housing and Urban Development won't support programs that maintain a sober living community for people, to working, people working to overcome homelessness. That's why I need your help. Congressman Darrell Issa is helping us roll back this policy that punishes programs for prioritizing sobriety. Please click on the link to sign our online petition and ask the government to change this policy. Thank you.